Light is the photographer's medium. Light sets the mood of the picture. Light creates the contrast between shadows and highlights, which makes the illusion of depth on the photographic image. First, a highlight is created. A cast shadow is created. A core is created in the transition of the highlight and the shadow. A shadow side is created. A specular or incident highlight is created with the highlight. Generally to check out the direction of light or to check out cast. We just use our hand trick. That is, just simply to turn our hand and to study the direction of light wherever we are and we can observe the light cast as it falls onto our hand. There are mainly, five directions of light. Front light is the light that is coming from, in front of the subject. It creates highlights on the subject leaving shadows behind. This makes the image look flat, or low contrast. It's ideal for landscape photography, rather than portrait photography. Side light is coming directly from, the side of subject. Subject is split down in the middle, half in the light, and half in the dark. Even though it is not a common choice of light for portrait photography, we can add drama to our portraits, if we use it properly. To adjust contrast, if necessary, use reflector, or auxiliary light. Plain light comes from an angle of 45 degrees from the subject. It is perpendicular to camera. As most common type of photographic illumination, it produces strong and generally well-positioned shadows, and thereby creates convincing illusions of three-dimensionality. Cross light comes from, 45 degrees behind the subject. One-fourth, to one-fifth of the subject are bright, the rest dark. If possible, use for light reflected from the floor or reflector. It's mainly used for portraits and food photography. We can make dramatic photos, emphasizing the outline of the subject. Backlight comes from behind the subject, to create a highlight that separates the subject from the background. It produces a silhouette. Photo technically speaking, it is most difficult to handle, but it is potentially the most exciting, creative and beautiful form of light. When positioning your subjects, find naturally reflective surfaces for fill light when possible. In the studio, artificial light creates light in a variety of directions, enabling multiple expressions. Top light is the light source is directly overhead. Normally this is undesirable form in portraiture. Foot light comes from below. It creates theatrical impressions. Multi-directional light is light from several sources at once. It's to capture a particular atmosphere of the scene. Light is the photographer's medium. Without it, you are as stymied as a painter without colors. So, see the light, and control highlights and shadows, before hitting the shutter. Move yourself. You can set the mood, and make a story. Last, but not least don't think too much, just take freely the picture, when your mind stays on.